It's the 16th year of Ebert Fest, and movie fans lined up around the block for the day's first showing. They come for a variety of reasons. I love the films. I love the community. Over the last 10 years, I think it's halfway because of the people on the line. We get to know each other. Roger Ebert was famous for his thumbs up or down reviews and the words of his last blog post just before his death. I'll see you at the movies. With his widow Chaz Ebert on hand, a $112,000 bronze statue of Roger Ebert was unveiled for the first time. Hey, I think Roger would be pleased, but I don't know because he was so modest, he didn't like having much made of him. He would have been very happy at the thought behind it of the community doing it. The driving force behind creation of the statue was Donna Anderson, who began moving the idea of the project while lying in a hospital after a heart transplant. Living in Champaign, Urbana, where you know people, made it a lot easier. The statue was made by local artist Rick Harney, who was so detailed he even included Ebert's wedding ring. That was very important to me that I include that, and that obviously meant something to her. I noticed she picked up on that right away. A fitting tribute and a pledge that Ebert Fest will continue. My heart is, is in it and my heart is here and I know his heart was here so I made a commitment to continue it. Ebert died at 70 after a long battle with cancer. The Ebert statue will eventually become a permanent fixture on the east side of the Virginia Theater. I'm Doug Wolf reporting and I'll see you at the movies.